Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to quickly show you how to upload files to the Gang Sheet Builder that are your own images. So you're, and I am also going to show you how to remove the white if you have a background uh, white, as well as how to deal with images that are just have so much white that too much is being removed. So to upload your images, you can actually upload multiple designs or images at the same time. So I am pulling all of these in. You can see there's a mix of JPEGs and PNGs. You can also bring in uh, GIF files and SVGs as well. So I'm gonna click open and they will all load here. Now this is where you will find your images um, that you bring in. And then of course we also have our you know stock here or gallery here of free images that you can use as well. These are in different categories and there's several hundred there that you can pick from and we keep adding more. So now you've got your design here, your designs here in um, the uploader. And so what you can do is I'm just going to pick one here and I'm going to show you that basically what you have is what is going, what you see is what is going to be printed. Okay. So this has a white background around it. And if you don't want that there, then you're going to want to remove the background. So in this case, we'll just click remove all white and the background will disappear. So that worked perfectly. However, I'm going to show you this, what happens when you've got a design that is, um, has a uh, part of the image is not terribly different than white. So the con there's not a whole lot of contrast. So I, this one obviously is the same design, just this part here is slightly different. And if I click remove all white from that, unfortunately it, the builder doesn't recognize that that's not actually white, that it's pink and it removes that as well. There is no way to really scale that. So this is kind of what you're left with. So um, my suggestion is even though you have this ability here to remove the white, I really would bring your images in pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna show you a few more examples of why um, using the white option is okay, but it really doesn't work perfectly. So here's another, um, this is obviously the Sofonsi, one of the Sofonsi logos, and it has a white um, image around it. So let's say your customer sends you um, their logo or you have a business and you wanna print logos for your shirt or your bag or, or whatever, um, if it has a white background on it and then you go to remove the white, all white is going to disappear. Now, if you're putting this on a white shirt, probably not a problem. But if you're putting this on a black shirt, that is going to be a problem. And so um, you don't want all the white probably to be removed. And so again, it makes the most sense, I'm gonna just move this up here, to bring your images into the uploader exactly how you want them to print already. So while there are some design and editing abilities in the uploader, it's really, it's, it's, it's a layout tool. This is not an editor. So you can remove backgrounds using things like Silhouette Studio or Canva, or there's other free online background removers. Even if you have an iPhone, even your iPhone will remove backgrounds for you. Um, so just keep um, aware of that. So I'm just going to pull in one or two more um, to give you just a couple more examples. So this cute little dog here, again, watch how much of this dog is actually going to disappear when I click remove all white, okay? So this is really a problem. I mean, that would be great if you wanted this as an SVG to cut this, because now you've got all your pieces here. But this, even if you put this on a white shirt, there's not gonna be any boundary. It's, it's not gonna look anything like what you're hoping. But if you bring it in with the background already removed, now you've per got your perfect little uh, dog there. So. While that, again, is an option for you to remove the white in a pinch, my suggestion is to use one of the other tools that you have. Um, PNGs with a transparent background are ideal. Usually a JPEG will have a background, and so if you have the ability to bring in a PNG or an SVG, those are gonna be the easiest ones for you to work with where they, they most likely will come in uh, with a transparent background. All right, you guys, make sure that you check out the Gang Sheet Builder. Um, there's a bunch of different sizes, um, starting at four by four, all the way up to 22 by five feet. So you can you know, get your own designs um, 
printed and of course we also have our own images here as I said that you can uh, take advantage of to fill out your sheet or uh, get inspired if you're just looking for some free designs um, to print on your sheet and make some custom garments.